Hey YouTube man, it's a boy Nduru. Guess what? Back with another update, back with another video. Let's hear what they say. Let's get it. Donald Trump vowing to fight New York Attorney General Letitia James and her attempt to seize his properties. The former president's attorneys appealing that $454 million bond ahead of the Monday deadline. Trump telling Fox News Digital, quote, I'll fight this all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court if necessary. They can't take away your property before you've had a chance to appeal the decision of a Trump-hating, incompetent judge who has been overturned more than any judge in the state. Matt Whitaker served as acting U.S. Attorney General under President Trump. He joins us not now. Great to see you, Matt. Hey, good morning. So, you know, it really is amazing when you start to step back and think about this. You know, um, Bernie Madoff had a $10 million bond, and he defrauded uh, thousands of people out of tens of billions of dollars. And Donald Trump defrauded no one. Everybody wanted to do business with him when, at the end of the deal. And uh, he's facing a $554 million bond. Explain this makes sense to me. Million. Yeah, Charlie, I wish I could. But, you know, if the, the, the fact pattern uh, for this case is that he took out a loan. He paid that loan back with interest, and somehow he is civilly liable now for this amount. It, it's, it's an outrageous uh, miscarriage of justice. You know, it is inconsistent with our fundamental constitutional rights to due process, you know, uh, uh, prevention against excessive fines under the Eighth uh, Amendment to the Constitution. So this case, I, I just think, is completely outrageous, and he should and will continue to fight, and you know, hopefully he can find a court, court that's more sympathetic than Judge Engeron was. It's almost like maybe Letitia James is uh, trying to go after him for, for political purposes. Listen to, this, uh, li listen to this tape from when she was running for office. No one is above the law, including this illegitimate president. And so, I look forward. I look forward to going into the office of Attorney General every day, suing him, defending your rights, and then going Will you sue him for us? Oh, we're going to definitely sue him. We're going to be a real pain in the a**. He's going to know my name personally. President Trump could not avoid justice in the great state of New York. I mean, honestly, how, how, how is this even happening? Well, you have, again, a rogue prosecutor like Letitia James, who has, you know, a political base that is in favor of her actions. And then you have a judge that in Manhattan that's willing to go along with it. Uh, you know. Uh, no one is above the law. Gee, that's the one thing she's right on. But nobody is below the law either. Right. And, and American citizens shouldn't be targeted individually for their political beliefs, which is exactly what's happening to Donald Trump in these blue jurisdictions. And it's just lawfare at, at its absolute worst. And again, if this continues and is allowed to happen by these appeals courts and the Supreme Court, then I think you're going to end up with a collapse of the, in a, uh, of the American justice system. And uh, the American people are not going to have faith in the system. Well, exactly. You know, obviously, um, this has been a uh, somewhat of a political boon for the president, um, especially with, uh, you know, clips like that of Letitia James clearly trying to make a political statement out of all of it. Uh, and I think uh, ultimately she's going to wind up helping getting him reelected, uh, at which point I hope her, her voters uh, will hold her accountable for that. But uh, but in terms of the legal process, are, are those quotes from her uh, are, are they going to be actionable in a, in a courtroom, uh, in, in an appeal or in, in, you know, how does this play out in the long run? Yeah, certainly there'll be context for the appeal. But, you know, the appeal is so strong on its merits because, again, you have a, you know, a, no victim uh, that complained about any of this alleged fraud. You have a business transaction or a series of transactions that involve just loans that were paid back with interest. And so I just think a, a, the appeals court is going to look at this and say, you know, where is the, the crime? Where is the fraud? And they're going to be very suspicious, especially since this penalty, this $454 million or whatever the number continues to grow by the day with interest calculations you know, there there is no basis for that. There's no nothing to tether it to. There is no it's no multiple of anything. It's not, uh, you know, the amount that anybody lost. And so I think that that this number is completely arbitrary and capricious and just pulled out of thin air uh, to punish Donald Trump. And, you know, most likely uh, to have some relation to the amount of liquid cash that he had previously reported on public report reports when he was president. 
Well, it, it clearly is an attempt to try to destroy him both on a political, yeah. in a political way and also in a uh, personal way as well. Thank you so much, Matt Whitaker, for joining us. Good to see you, Charlie. Great to see you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley. Hey, man. What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think, bro? Just comment down below and make sure to subscribe, like, and share for more updates, for more daily updates. Yeah, just comment down below what you guys think. And, uh, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Poof.